Hey everybody, so Virginia Beach City Public Schools has uh, changed their password requirements. So all students, all teachers have to reset their passwords. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. And there are actually two steps to doing it, so make sure you complete both steps. So here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to go here to class link. I'm in the class link launch pad. I'm going to click on my profile icon up there in the top right hand corner go to settings, and then I'm going to go to recovery. Now on this recovery, this is where you can set your uh, account security questions. You should really do that so that you don't have to rely on a teacher to change your password. If you haven't set your security questions or enabled your mobile phone access, please do that before you do anything else. If you've already done that, then go ahead and reset your password. Just click on reset password. Your old password should automatically be filled in and then you'll have to create a new password. Now, here's the trick. The new passwords have to be a minimum of 12 characters. They also don't allow for common words like your school mascot or your school name or the season or things like that. You can't reuse the previous 24 passwords and your password must contain three out of these following four items uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. So you have to have at least one item from three out of those four groups. Your passwords also can't contain any part of your account name or your display name, and they can only be changed once every two days. One thing that the Department of Technology is recommending that you do is instead of using a password, think of it as a passphrase. So instead of just one word, a passphrase might be, my birthday is on July 6th. That gives you uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and a number that meets three out of the four requirements. So there are a couple of other options there to do that. We also do have some other videos about setting a good secure password. Uh, take a look for those on our uh, intranet page. So once you've reset your password, I'm not going to reset mine because I just reset it. Uh, so the next thing you need to do is you need to enable two-factor authentication. So here's how we do that. I'm going to go back here to my profile. I'm going to go to settings and then this time I'm going to go to security. So on security, I'm going to click here to enable two-factor authentication. Make sure it's blue. And then if you have an option here, select image. Okay. Once you've selected image, you can click the configure button and that will bring this up. You can just click on the blank image there. You can pick any of these images to be your two-factor authentication image. And I'll show you how this works in just a second. I've selected the baseball as mine and I'm going to go ahead and click save. And now what I'm going to do here, just so I can show you what happens when you sign in, is I'm going to sign out and then I will sign back into ClassLink. Once I put my username and password in, I'm going to come to this uh, two-factor authentication page, select my image. I will click on the question mark there. It'll load all the images. It does put them in a random order, so you might have to search around for a second until you find yours. Uh, mine's the baseball down here. And now I'm signed in. So that's going to be your new sign-in process for signing into your Chromebooks from now on. Please make sure you change your passwords. We are going to be required to change it um, later this week, but it's better for you to do it now when you can do it on your own time rather than have it forced on you and you have to do it Thursday morning first thing. So make sure you get that changed and reset your password.